we are in all our shining glory. I just wanted to look at this quick before I turn the camera. I guess I quit. I mean, I can't understand it anyway. The trouble is I'm afraid I'll lose it if I don't. Move to. Move to. Desktop. Move. And that's the Massachusetts one. So now if I just do the other one, the finance, the This is year 2015, by the way. Uh, move to desktop, desktop, move. Okay, so now we're done. Now we can go to mail call. Oh, wait a minute, here we gotta do a pop thing. Um, okay, so is this, it's about this black dog. You want, does everybody want to talk about the black dog? The camera needs to move. Who? Camera. Camera has been moved. Okay, I'll have to. I, I can't. I'll cut this off now to move the camera. Oh dear. Well, I'll move the camera. Oh, that's a. That's a. I gotta pay attention to that. There's a black dog in Europe that I'm thinking of getting. Okay, so now you got the camera. So we're not going to really worry about the, the black dog until after I get the mail call business all out of the way. Okay. Come on. I've been, I've been asking this woman to send me the pedigree because the European pedigrees have all sorts of information on it. That other people that your parents ones don't have. I'm gonna open these first because I can't get organized. Here we go. We will now open this one, which is from Kevin Dunn, Gibbsville, New Jersey. So we got turn. I'm asking this woman to send me the pedigree because the European. Okay. Very difficult to try and figure these things out. What the heck? Let's try anything once. Here we go. Lori Lynn Dunn. Okay. You can have that. And apparently, this is just coming to us, so this must be going this way. Well, this is fun. Maybe. So the bees needs. Oh, that's a seed collection. Oh, that's okay. We'll give that to Grace. This is, whoops. Well, these are fun. What are these? What on earth? Hmm. Gloves. Glove? Is that what they says? Fingerless gloves. No. Really? I, I don't see a thumb. Is that a thumb thing? Well, they're very strange. Let's see if we have a description. Hey, there's holes. Oh. I don't know about gloves. 
it? Let's get out the directions. Maybe yeah. they'll tell us. Yeah, you can have that now too. You're welcome. Oh my. Huh. Uh oh, it's a pattern. Maybe. Huh. I wonder if it's that kind of pattern that they're throwing us. Oh. For the, for the puppies, babies. The puppy babies. Huh, okay. Oh boy, that dog. That's cute. Huh. Well, those are cute. Okay. These are done. Huh. Okay, well, we'll think about that. Here's a letter. We'll put that, put that, you can hold that. Yep. Here's some more of these things you can hold. Okay. Yeah, they're puppy coats. Puppy coats, okay. Carlene, I hardly got this letter back when little Midge was born. But I got um. it set aside as the need was no longer so urgent. I think it's worth sending for future reference. I have Cavalier Spaniels. My female Tasha was born with a thyroid condition, but the symptoms showed up when she was 10 weeks old. Nearly all of her coat fell out, leaving her with light fuzz. It began in September, and she got a little chilly and weighed only three pounds. A friend who has a farm offered a remedy. She called a, a lamby jammy. As when the baby lambs are born, their coats aren't thick enough to keep them warm. She would make these jammies out of the leg of an insulated long johns. The cuff becomes the neck, and it's cut at an angle at the rump to allow for walking and piddle space. Two holes are cut for the front legs. Pretty simple. They are. For, they, this is very interesting, but very effective in holding a body heat. I'm sending pictures of Tasha wearing hers. She really likes it. I made these two simple midges out of a sock, so you can see the construction. Not knowing how big midge was, but it's hard to estimate the right piece of clothing recycle into this. A wool sock would really be useful if the puppy had the right was the right size. I often wonder if this would have helped Midge. It is the reason I'm sending this for our future siblings. I'm enclosing an envelope so it's some poker chips and a monkey fist. Thank you for all you do. Lori Lynn Dunn. Okay, Lori Lynn Dunn. Oh, there's a ten dollar bill too. Oh, what did you throw? I, I Slipped or something. So okay. We, would, uh, monkey I, we need monkey so fist. And we also put a um, some tape around this envelope. It's not very strong. We got we got envelopes in there too. Uh, no, I don't have the chips. We don't have those clothes. chips in there. Are they in this one? No, they're not in that one. They're in the other one. They're in that one. Okay, I got one. Okay, next. Now I need the, uh, this thing. Oh. I want to, I may need some help doing this. I'll hold the envelope. You're going to hold that. Just to give it a little more. Texture, you know? Yeah. Let's do the same thing up here. Is that going to be good? I think so. Do you want to put a strip on the front? Sure, around from that end? I think so. Uh oh, I didn't do that right. I didn't do that right. Let's see if that works. Think that will work? Oh, Better than it was. If it doesn't work, send it back. I mean, if they just will send some more. We can do that. Moving on. D White. This is a D White. Okay. 
doing me too well with this. Oh, you know what happened with this? This CD came to us accidentally. She said it was supposed to go to her. She said, try it if you like it. Keep it. Oh. If not, pass it on. Or we what is send it? it back. Uh, self Celtic Thunder, I think she said. Really? Yep. She said it's music. Huh. I have trouble with that by machine. Probably I'll send did it back to Did you ever get her. the video? Going? I got the video. Yes, I did. You click on the upper part of the, of the introduction thing. Oh. Man, who would have guessed? Do you know? Who would have guessed? It used to be it just started automatically. And you didn't it does it. the first time, but after that oh. it doesn't. Okay, drool. New York. New York, New York. New York, New York. Get well. I'll try and do that. Carlene, you are right. You did not get enough sympathy. <laughs> Can't recall your opening an avalanche of get well cards, whereas the Great Danes receive Valentine cards for days. Of course, we want you healthy and sporting. The crazy fun has you receive a mail call, but you're just not the furry, cuddly type. That's true. However, do get well quickly. Janice, Jan from New York City. And that's for the fun fun. Okay. There we go. You can have that one and that one too. And we have James, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. That's somebody was going to write to me from Pittsburgh. Please accept this check in memory. Alicia W. Abe, Jim and Nancy Chaplin, Money, Elaine, is it Elaine Abe, A-L-L-A-I-N-E, Elaine? Yeah, right? that's the one that we've Abe, mm -hmm. thank you very much. Okay, should I put that in here too? Yeah. Put that in here too. Okay, and you can have that one. This is from Harold Wanda. Harold Wanda. Pecans, again. How about that? How about those pecans? Okay. And this is from, oh, People's United Bank. Oh, God. And they got $102 of my husband's and they won't give it to me. Jackie McLaughlin, Colorado Springs, Colorado. Yeah, they have, it was a, an account of his, I was, I was whatever I was. And I did not get it empty before he died. The minute he died, I couldn't get the bank, I couldn't get the bank to give me the $102. So I send them a dollar about every year just to make them keep sending me those things because I'm very annoyed. Okay, Carlene, thank you for all you and your wonderful staff do on your free loving dogs. Two chicken bricks, please. Okay, chicken brick department opened up. There we are. And that goes in there. And this is from somebody else. Just giving. $23.63. I can't tell who it's from, but that's wonderful. We'll take it anyway. You can have that one. And we have Charity gift certificates. Charity gift. Okay. Forty six dollars and fifty cents. 
seems like they're figuring out who sent us that. Daniel B. Goodman, maybe? I can't tell whether that's who sent it or that's who who runs this check making outfit. Whatever, Lakewood, New Jersey. Okay. That goes there, and this goes here, and this goes here, and we start again. Monica Jones, Indianapolis, Indiana. She spelled out Indiana. That's because she lives in Indiana. She should live in Massachusetts and try that. Ah. And we have, I would like three chicken bricks, please. Monica Jones, you can put that in there. And then that can go in here, and this goes over there, and we're on to another one. This is from Hartford, Connecticut. Oh, here we go. Margaret McCabe, Southampton, Mass. She mailed it in, well, she, no, I don't, I don't know that. That could be just a postage thing. Sunflowers. I woke this morning with a devout thanksgiving for my friend the old and the new. Huh. Okay. Oh, wow. Thank you for all you do to help others in need. Please use this check for your summer interns. Interns are an integral part. Wonderful. Thank you very much. That's for interns. It says interns on it, so I can give all this to you. And then this could go in there. And we're back to Harold Wanda. We got two from them yesterday. They're doing well. No, it wasn't yesterday because this is Monday. Okay. Multi grain pecans. Uh, pecans. A lot of pecans. They um, hardly a day goes by that they don't need pecans. Massachusetts Farm Bureau. Well, that's probably not too much. I don't think they're giving me any money. Oop, missed. Be nice, but I don't think so. The Farm Bureau. Dear Farm Member, Board of Directors Emergency Meeting to act and forth on the bylaws to address a required change in leadership of the Federation. Edward Davian resigned. <coughs> as he's executive. He's now going to be U.S. Department of Agriculture Farm Service Agency, effective February 18th. The bylaws specify that no delegate or officer may hold full time in salaried state or federally elected point of office, whatever. Also provide bylaws, election to fill a vacancy, Mark Amato, Warren Shaw, secret ballot was taken, 100% participation by the board members, Mark Amato was elected. Okay, whatever. I somehow, uh, going over there. Next problem. Blair, Swampscott, Mass. Somebody's barking at the dogs. Somebody's barking at the dogs. Thanks you all you do for the dogs. Maureen Blair. Very nice. Thank you, Maureen. Swamps good math. Okay. And this is a big fat one from Patty Clearfield. No, yeah, Clearfield. Clearfield, Utah, maybe? That looks like maybe that's Utah. Could be New Jersey, but I don't think so. Mm -hmm. 
I saw that the other day you received a box full of poo pickers, but I thought I'd send these ones made. Of course you should. Please take care and keep up the good work. Great things that you all do. Patty, that's very nice of you to send us those. We appreciate that. We'll put them right in the pile. Got them. Oh, it's really? Okay. Okay. I hope you're not watching today. Okay. All right. All right. Oh. Oh my. This is. <laughs> no, this is not that kind of thing. order not to file New York State taxes, I've got to fill this form out and send it back. That's because that McDonald's property and it keeps us floating. Oh, well, I buy Social Security, which has gotten screwed up. Okay. Oh, there we go. And this is from... Might be on there. <laughs> it's upside down. Oh, is it? From New Hampshire Teach. Thank you very much. Karen. Yeah. Oh, you heard it. They've been waiting for it since they came to the house. Can I open it? Sure. Yeah. No, we're actually, this is perfect time. Did you move those out? The big we're, we're getting a lot, we, we did get, send a bunch down to the farm. Oh, good. Yeah. That big, that big container? Yeah. Good place. Yeah, and we're going to put some cardboard boxes and we're sending it down to them. And then change out the fish. Oh, we did make it up there. Okay, we got it. All done. We had enough. They work just fine, I think. Hmm. Who is over there? Chaos, are you kidding me? They, they wouldn't go on these little puppies. I don't think it's cold enough in there to worry about us, but that would work, wouldn't it? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Can you wow. wait a minute? Can you? No? Yes, no? Oh. Hold on. A feel, everybody? A feel? Go on, out, hey, out, go. Why have they not fixed your social security check? They have. They have. <clears throat> they've screwed it backwards. They have now said that I'm getting a whole bunch of money and I'm only getting a widow's thing is very little, which is it's almost the same. It's it, from 
for two months, it's five hundred dollars short at the moment, huh. and I will complain about it. Uh, I'm a little bit afraid oh. to because they have it backwards. I, what am I going to say? Right. It used to be my husband's was bigger than mine. Yeah. Now they've got mine bigger than my husband's. So huh. who knows? How are the donkeys today? Did the vet come? The vet came, and he thinks that it. It's just a peculiarity of that one particular donkey. He doesn't. He can't find anything wrong with her, and he's thinking that maybe her basically her front end goes to sleep. Hmm. Might be various strange pressure that a foal was putting on her, or whatever. But he, that was his analyzation. It says he, she's acting like like her feet are asleep, and, and that's that would go along with. Mm -hmm. Because the minute he gets here and moves her around, her all she's fine. Yeah. She ran up and down the hill today, and no problem at all, sound yeah. as can be. And then wouldn't limp at all. Huh. So the minute she moved around, got loosened up a little bit, she was fine. So, who knows? Not enough to worry about. Okay, they're doing a weight chart on oh, what dear. each puppy weight gained, <laughs> gained. Well, because somebody had said a little bit earlier, the littlest ones need more time they've got to catch up to so they have a fighting chance type of scenario. They're fighting. And I said, they've all, if you, and I put out their way, I said, they're all gaining the same weight. Then maybe they're just smaller puppies. Because yeah. there are very often times when there are no puppies nursing at all and they're all sound asleep. They don't fight for nursing. The little ones are pulled and put on first. So I don't. We're doing fine. I think I think we are. It's Just not, it seems about twenty five percent of this whole ca camera crowd wants to worry about something. Yeah. Well. They're going to worry about something anyway. Yeah. Um, they said, just a thought, does Massachusetts have an unclaimed fund? And someone said, I just checked and Carlene is listed. I am listed. The part that's unclaimed in there is like $8. Oh. It wasn't very much. Yeah. One of the, uh, one of the volunteers here works in that office. And, oh. Uh, Janine's got about $70 and mine's got about 8 or something. Huh. It's nothing spectacular. But that $100, I'll be damned if the Massachusetts is going to get it. That's crazy. <laughs> um, as long as I keep having some action in the account, they can't give it to the state. Please let us know if there is a if there comes a time when we CPs can do anything for Steve's family or for Tanner. Glad you used some of the fun fund. Good call. I did. I gave him a bunch of money from the fun fund. He was very pleased. Linda had posted no cards for Tanner at this time. I don't... Um. Well, the, the, what was said today was anything to send to Tanner, send it here. And we will get it to him. Because he might be back here before it goes somewhere. I don't know. Send it here. We'll worry about it somehow. Carlene is in short sleeves. It must be warm there. Well, this, it was a mild day. And this heater is 71. This so heater is lovely. It is warm. I'll tell you how lovely this heater is. Bud stood here and he said, I think I'm going to put one of those in. Oh. And for Bud <laughs> to stand here and say that, you have to know that he's been studying them for the last three months and yeah. he's decided that they're good. <laughs> okay, Sizzle is beautiful. Looks like Reese is waiting for her mom. Her mom's gone back to work in New Hampshire, so I quite... Okay. Michaela, so I don't know when Reese's oh. human mom, so I don't know when she's going to be back next to visit. Um, Lammy Jammies, those are fun. That's They post that occasionally for Grace. How to water your plants intravenously <laughs> when a nurse takes up gardening. Ah, ba 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 the weights. I try to drip water into plants by putting a tiny little hole. I mean, I, I'm talking a very small hole, top and bottom in a bottle like, you know, this. Mm -hmm. And this will take an hour to run in, mm -hmm. drip in slowly, which is much better for the plants than 
just spend a whole bunch of water on top. Okay, they're asking about Tanner again. They're asking about the donkeys. Um, good gracious, Wee Willie ain't so wee anymore. No, he's definitely growing. Uh, did Donna come and reclaim Vance? I miss him. Yes, she did. She reclaimed Vance when she left from work. The door is open. Yeah, the door is open. Chaos is in, but Bentley and Sizzler out in Afield. They are not barking. She is getting so fat. She's even getting fat. Do you know that Linda fat. said that when that she was weighed and she weighs 140 pounds? Really? Yeah, uh, truly. That's what Linda said. Behind her front leg there. I don't know though. I know she looks fat, but I saw a picture. I mean, she's kind of concave in here, up above. Like she has all her baby stuff. I don't think she, I think she looks a lot better than she did. Really? I really do. Her face even looks a little younger. <coughs> uh, didn't realize Tanner lives in Maine. Um, no. Currently uh, 15, uh, 119 bricks have been bought. Does Tanner now have Tumblr? No, he does not. Carrie in Tennessee has Tumblr. Tanner has Mariah. Uh, let's see. That was Tumblr. Tumblr's a pokey. Okay, let's go up here. 23 new comments. I've watered house plants with ice cubes. Just two or three on the soil, not touching the plant. Yep. Do you know any breeders, Dane breeders in Michigan? <coughs> I don't know Dane breeders anywhere. Judy found a couple in Texas. Did she ever show you those? Oh, there are a whole bunch of them, but I they were from Europe. They said. You know, oh, they all say they're European bloodlines. We have more European bloodlines than anybody, I think. But nonetheless, I mean, it's just a very, it's a very fashionable thing to do to say, oh, these are European great Danes. Mm -hmm. And they may have a great grandfather someplace, but you know. A uh, donkey neuropathy, perhaps. I don't know. Got me. How's your leg? Leg is normal. Still got a hole in it. it the, the hole is getting smaller. They measure it every couple days. Okay, pet tabs and cookies were mentioned as needed, but do we need anything else? Goat's milk, towels, tums, pee pads, human treats. I think we're all set. Yeah, I mean, pee, you know, pee pads in a couple weeks and a check, but we have a few boxes around here right now. Um, glad uh, instead of sending stuff, just keep buying those bricks. Really? We're, we're, I'm into the end of the month again where I'm panicking. You know, that, I do that every month, right? Mm -hmm. They all bail me out, but it's just... I'm glad to hear of the pen order. For myself, I would prefer getting a sensible pen with monkey fists than a poker chip. I do a lot of writing and enjoy a fine tip pen. How will they be made available? They'll be made available online. I mean, you know, when you want one, just ask for one, because I've got 200 coming. Uh, is Steve back in Maine or here? I'm confused on that Steve part. Steve is here, I believe. His wife took Tanner in the car and went to Maine. Honey is almost as fat as that poo, uh, <laughs> poo uh, stuffed animal. Okay, I, let's be a five more comments and then I have to put the noodles on. Um... I hope that one of the pregos delivers at night. That way the cam will be f cam will be fixed in the stall. I am seven hours ahead and your telephone number is pinned to my wall chart. <coughs> <coughs> Love the picture of Erica and Asher. Well, you know what he did you know what he did talk about today? Um, the veterinarian. She's getting big. She could conceivably have twins in there. Hmm. 
that doesn't usually work out too well. Yeah. For one or the other or both. Um, there's, not, uh, there's not a damn thing we can do about it. Mm -hmm. Janine's going to love this. He did say that his hands are size 9 and they are really kind of too big to go turning any foal around inside of her. So I was supposed to find somebody with smaller hands, maybe <laughs> do the Dr. Paul thing, you know, right yeah. up to the elbow, elbow and shoulder. So I have, I have alerted Janine. Hmm. If she's well, she's the donkey person. I know, but I, I don't think she's ever stuck her hand in up to their shoulder. Well, neither have I. Rather her <laughs> than I, right? <laughs> <laughs> because you could be telling me to run down there and stick my hand up there up to my armpit and I mean who in the hell well, knows I would much Brian rather have her on call Brian said that he could <laughs> he said he could work with Judy yeah Judy. that's a better choice I'm telling you that. oh god that reminds me of Judy's old boyfriend yeah you had told me that nice guy I apparently have known him for 30 years I he's didn't know that. super nice He's, very he's probably nice. one of the nicest yep. customer service visitors, yep. and he's always pleasant. He introduces himself to every single person. Yeah, he's just super nice. Yeah. Um. Okay. Last one. Oh, and the picture of Erica and Asha. Those were fun pictures. They were good pictures. Okay. Did the vet draw blood from? <laughs> I can't hear a thing. The dogs are barking. These dogs. Chaos. Stop. Please. Did the vet draw blood for Lyme disease? They did that before. Oh, okay. Say they, they say it's a pretty well documented fact that the donkeys like to foal in the early morning and typically 5 a.m. is the birthing hour most quoted. Oh, Jesus. Uh, really? Uh. Some of these statistics are questionable as far as I'm concerned. Is there a vet school in Mass such as Virginia Tech? There is a vet school in doing that. It's tough. Mm. Okay, I think we're going to make, we're having beef stroganoff and noodles, and I'm going to uh, get the noodles going. Pro Wheel said when she was here last Monday, she would have been more than happy to help with turning the foal should the need have arisen. She had never, she'd never done it before, but she would do anything to help her. I mean, let's face it, if I had to do it, I would do it, but, you know, gonna be if weird. you have a person who deals with donkeys around, that might be a better choice. Okay, we're going to go have dinner. All right, thank you, everybody. We're going to go have dinner. Oh, God. Oh, did you, oh, were you going to talk about the dog?